Hello, my name is Angelica Bonilla and I am a fine artist and engineer who graduated in Carnegie Mellon in the year 2023. In this piece, we wanted to explore essentially what hospitality means in the context of one another, what it means to try to find a home within a place with strangers and the role of a stranger in defining a place. This piece was created with an interesting technique that I've been developing for some time. As a student at Carnegie Mellon, I became really interested in the intersection between crafts and technology. As an artist, I'm incredibly interested in the way that robotic elements can collaborate with human beings to create beautiful things. I believe that technology is something that can be used as a way of enhancing our creative experiences and building a better world. And for this reason, I want to find ways in which I can make things together with robots. There's this kind of idea of gender of arts and this idea of image processing and the way that an artist with technology often fits doesn't really include those of us who are interested in the way in which the material qualities of our hands can integrate with the things that our machines make. So in this case, I had multi-layered process to create the image that you're looking at. First, I took this photograph. This is a photograph from my hometown in Colombia, Cartagena. Um, and I divided it into five different images. These five images were fragmented and processed as to create these mid maps, which would be then processed by an image processing algorithm using the P-Embroider library that was developed by the Studio for Creative Inquiry for embroidery machines. Using this patterning, we can create, select the places that we want to fill and the places that we want to remain uh, another color or white. In this case, the plotter will draw anything that is in the respective color that we choose. I guess in this case, it is white. And those elements that are in the white will now get drawn in black. That kind of inline filling quality is essentially what creates the lines that the pen plotter will now then plot with its own planification software. So I draw on top of it to enhance the type of design that it creates. This might include drawing with it on pencil, uh, color pencil, graphite or charcoal, and then post-processing it in maybe a software like um, procreate and coloring it in a way that might provide a more interesting visual aspect. In the end, I added the text because as someone who's extremely interested in comic books, I really like the idea of having a fragmented image tell a story through a nonlinear narrative or linear narrative. In this case, we have a viewer who is recounting their experience with a location so I think that it's something that kind of transcends the idea of memory it doesn't transcend a single image or single place, but rather it spans multiple locations and places. You can walk through a place and you can evoke the emotion of walking through a place. And even though it's one single image, the creation of paneling allows to be able to tell this more flowing story. And so we did a lot of different explorations into different types of designs that we were interested in. We explored different types of text, different types of compositions, different combinations of these types of two things until we finally reached the point in which we wanted it to be. This was a really fantastic experience in terms of trying to evoke this theme of hospitality and create something that might allow others, especially in the modern language just department, to think about the way in which we experience a place and experience the people from that place.